Willy Ratter here, and welcome back to Crippled Talk. Today, I'm going to give you five reasons why disability advocacy is important. And if you stick around at the end of this video, I'll give you reason number six. So let's roll. There are five reasons why disability advocacy is important. I got my list here, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Let's get into it. Reason number one, disability advocacy is important. Because it gives us, it says that, we, it tells others that we need equal rights and equal opportunity. For example, black people can vote. They can get married. They can have kids. Gay people can get married, have kids, and vote. And their income doesn't change, okay? Because they're married. My income does. Other people with disabilities, our income changes because we because we're, we because we choose to get married. Our disability checks, the disability check that I mentioned a video ago that I don't get anymore. I'll link that video down in the description and in the cards. That disability check goes down based on your spouse's income. That's a right that we still we we still don't have equal income rights. So that's why dis that's why disability advocacy is needed because people need to be made aware of stuff like that. Reason number two: disability advocacy challenges stigma stigmas. I'm 36 years old. When people, I'm rolling down the street. People bend over backwards to get out of my way. And not in a good way. They'll avert their eyes. They'll do whatever they can not to look at me. They'll talk to my wife. They won't talk to me. They'll, you know, they'll stare. I covered that in a previous video, and I'll link that video here in the cards and in the description. I think YouTube limits the number of cards, so I've got to be careful. Those, stig those stigmas need to be challenged and changed because they shouldn't be there. I'm just I'm just a normal person, you guys. Other people with disabilities, they're just normal people going about their everyday lives. They get up, they have coffee. i got to remind my wife we need coffee. I've not had coffee in a while. I need coffee! They, they're normal people. They go about their daily routine. They, go to, they, they have jobs, they get married. They get out of bed, they dress themselves, they feed themselves. Everything that you as an able-bodied person take for granted, they can do. Sometimes better. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but uh, you know, I can do it better than you. Reason number three, disability advocacy is important. It promotes legal changes. Have you seen the movie Crypt Talk on Netflix? And it's also free on YouTube. It goes over this group of disabled kids, teenagers really, that pushed for legal changes for disabled people. Because up until then, we couldn't go to the same schools. We didn't have the same rights in schools as an able-bodied person. They're the ones that instituted the 504 plans. Okay, and I'll link that video, and I'll link Crypt Talk in the description, Crip Camp, excuse me, I'm Crypto. <laughs> Sorry. I'll link Crip Camp in the description for those of you that are interested in it. I highly recommend that movie. It will change your outlook. As a disability advocate, I cannot stress that movie enough. Number four. Accessibility. And this is a big one. Because even now, when I roll down the street somewhere... You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a wheelchair ramp to get across the street. Okay. I'm looking for a traffic stop so I can push the button to walk across the street. Now, I know a traffic stop, a walk segment is used by able-bodied people. I get it. But they can walk across that street without the aid of a wheelchair ramp. They, they can just step off the sidewalk. I can't do that. So I'm looking for that wheelchair ramp. 
when I want to go into a building, I have to assess, does that building have elevators? Does it have, you know, where's the ramp? How many stairs might I have to get out of my wheelchair and climb up because I can't get in the building? What do I need to do to gain access to this building? So, at, so accessibility is important. Disability advocacy is important because it highlights the need for accessibility. Number five, self-advocacy. Okay. When I was a kid, I didn't... A kid can't advocate for themselves, right? Well, they can, to a certain extent. But I didn't know what I needed. I was, I was ignorant, right? That's what I got. That's what I had parents for, right? And the thing, the thing that got me as a kid, nobody would advocate for me but them. And even now, as an adult, nobody will advocate for me but myself. I was asked the other day on Facebook, "Why does disability pride matter?" That's an upcoming video. I'm not going to go into that in this video. You know why they told like you know why they asked me that? Because they don't abdicate for people with disabilities. They can't. They don't know how. They don't know they need to. That's why disability advocacy is so important, you guys. It's so so important. And so I I please look into it further. And reason number six, I promised. I said we'd get to a number six if you stayed to the end of this video, and we are. And it's closely tied in with number five. It raises awareness about all of the issues that I brought up. It 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 educates the community to be better. It educates the community to do better. Because when you do better, when I do better, we all do better. When the twenty five when the twenty five percent of disabled Americans because it's twenty five percent out of three point what is it three point four billion people in the country, twenty five percent of those have a disability. When we're all made of aware when we're all made aware of a problem, we all do better. That's why disability advocacy is so important, you guys. Until next time, keep rolling.